What's up everybody, it's your man Jay Field from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com and this video we're going to talk about the Koala app once again with drum breaks and BPM matching. So let's get into it. <laughs> What's up everybody, we are back again. Decided to probably make this into a series of Koala app vids. If you're not familiar, please watch this video first and then come back. So in this video, I want to talk about making your own drum break chops and, you know, kind of figuring out what the BPM would be, you know, just in case you want to do your own thing. Because this is great for like if you want to road or whatever away from your studio and you have an idea pop up in your mind and you just want to get it down. So anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and record ourselves. I'm going to beatbox a little beat. So don't laugh. And if you do, it's all good because I'll probably laugh at myself. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, now this is just for demonstration purposes. <laughs> okay, so we got that, right? Not the greatest, but... I kind of want to uh, adjust it a little bit. So first thing I want to do is watch this. I'm going to go ahead and put this in performance mode, right? Actually, I need to go to sequence, sequence, right? Just throw it in here. Now, never mind the BPM. We're not worried about that yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to performance mode. <laughs> and then go ahead and uh, play it. And use performance mode. Throw some compression on it. Hit the hold. Maybe dirty it up. Okay, so now we got that. <laughs> right? So the cool thing is now you're able to resample that loop. So you go to the top right three little lines, top right, and then you're going to go ahead and resample that loop. Now we have this. <clears throat> Let me see something. What if I uh, hit resample from app? We could resample that. Let's try that. So now we have. Nice and dirty sounding. <laughs> so now let, let's say you wanted to figure out what the exact BPM to that was, right? And you like that. So you go to sequence. And we're not worried about this one right here. That was the original. So let's, let's go here. Matter of fact, let's just, let's just delete this one. Okay. Now let's go ahead and turn this metronome on so we can hear where we're at. Right? And let's go to the sample, make it a one shot, so that way it plays all the way through. All right? That sounded pretty close, but not quite. So what you want to do is use tap tempo. Why not? Well, actually, let's record it in there. Okay, so it's in there. Now let's use the metronome and tap tempo and try to match it. And you do that by tapping, actually literally tapping, okay? Not quite. Oh, 
almost. And when you get when you get close, you could go ahead and just use your uh, minus and plus signs to just kind of nudge it a little bit, you know. Not quite. Maybe right here. Okay, I think that sounds pretty cool. So we have determined that our BPM is 88, 88. Okay, so that's cool. The other way you could do it is if you, you have a set BPM in your mind and let's say you wanted to go to 95 BPM. So here's what you would do. I went ahead and copied it onto another pad. And then uh, let's go back to sequence. And let's say, let's go to another right here. And say you definitely want it at 95. So 95 BPM. So that's faster. So what you have to do is change the pitch. <laughs> let's go ahead and record that in. So obviously we need to pitch it. So go, let's go back to sample, but let's go ahead and let it play. too much <laughs> so there you there you have it that's the other way you could do it so you, you could either pitch it down or pitch it up to match the BPM that you have set in your mind that you definitely want to do it or just go ahead and change the BPM manually using tap tempo that way you can find the the bpm to whatever your uh your drum break is now let's say we wanted to go ahead and chop this drum break which is what i prefer doing <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, go here i just copied i just dragged right let's do it again And again, so let's go here. And you don't have to get perfect because you can always use your choke groups, which I'm probably going to do. So let's go ahead and throw that on a choke group. Choke group one, okay? Throw another one on a, uh, the same choke group. Sorry, low battery, trying to hurry up. <laughs> All right. Got that. And maybe that open hi hat. Bam. So now you can do stuff like that, man. You just broke it up and you got your own drum break. So let's go ahead and uh, record that. Bam! Let's turn that metronome off. Go ahead and mess around with some effects. Now, I know it's real airy, but you could, you know, just mess with the sounds and do whatever. And then you can re-loop and re-sample and all that kind of goodness. <laughs> so, I hope that was helpful, you know, creating your own drum breaks, your own drum chops, figuring out the BPM and matching. So, I hope that was helpful. I'm sending peace and positive energy.
So if you like these type of videos, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out all the links down below this one and hit that notify bell so you don't miss any new videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace and positive energy.